All right, guys, here we have the Leap Motion. This is a uh, motion activated. It reads where your hand is above the screen. It's a motion activated controller, basically. Do all types of things with it. I've got a Windows 7 laptop here we're going to be testing this on. So first I'm just going to show it real quick. In the box, you really don't get that much. You just get a uh, little information thing that says go to a website, leapmotion.com forward slash setup to get it set up. Inside the case, you get your Leap Motion which is just this tiny little box and it has a plug there but that's all it is it has a couple lights inside of it and when it's on it'll show those lights but other than that there's just that one plug get a little instruction booklet and then you get two cords they're the exact same thing and uh, one shorter for laptop use that's the one I'll use today and then the other ones a lot longer for desktop use so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download for Windows the program and then I'm going to install it and get this plugged in and we'll see what we can do with it. Okay guys, so once you have it all installed and you've gotten your Leap Motion account set up, then you can go ahead and look for games or look for whatever you want. So I'm going to go to Top Picks here and we're just going to pick something and show you how it works from there. I'm trying to find a game or something that's free and let's see there New York Times is free we'll see how that works so when you click on this we should have a get app button here I'm gonna click get app it's gonna pop up a thing for me to put in my uh, password and then what it's gonna do is that app is going to show up in our airspace program which if the airspace program was open it would have just probably opened it up for us it's probably doing that right now open airspace home to use this app okay and I already double clicked it. it was just slow to start up so now you'll see New York Times showed up here it's gonna download and then we'll be able to use it let's go ahead and pick another app out of here another one in the top picks that's free and uh, wish they had a free section they probably do alright let's see what else we can get free here nothing's looking all that great We'll do escape velocity here. And there we go. So now we got a couple more things downloading. While they're downloading, uh, we'll show you Boom Ball here. So we'll go into Boom Ball. And this is a game. There's lots of games that uh, are good for kids or anyone. So this one's going to be controlled by my hand. <coughs> And you basically play it like that block game where you hit a ball up, except this time you're hitting it sideways, I mean forward. Sometimes I seem to get stuck by the wall. I've only played this like once. There we go. So this is basically it. Get different levels and... Uh... And that's that. So that's one game you can play. There's lots of little games like that. There's cut through open other things. Let's check out the New York Times. I've never opened this one before. Alright, so we have, can I control this with my hand? I should be able to. Twirl, fingertip to scroll to the right, and point and hold to select an article. Alright, so if I want to watch the uh, Manning sentence to 35 years, I'll just point. And then if I want to flip the page, that's escape. Shaking is escaping. Point to it to go into it. If I want to flip the page, There we go. You can scroll up and down by twirling your fingertip right or left. That's pretty neat. So if you were sitting here like just by your desk, like just chilling out, like I, I just got my head right here and I was reading a newspaper article, that is kind of neat. I mean, yes, you can do it with a mouse pretty much with your hand here just as easy. So that's cool. And if you want to go back, it said you shake. And then I wonder if it's the same thing with this. You can scroll through articles and look at the top articles and pages of the day. That's pretty cool. Oh, I was holding my finger there. That's to escape out. So anyways, go ahead and try a different app. I think it said my uh, airspace closed. It was downloading... Uh, an app or two. We'll get it started up here again. 
that's what got the error and closed down was this program. Alright, so uh, it still didn't install this, I guess. Downloaded it, but it didn't install it yet. Uh, Google Earth I didn't check out, but we probably should check that one out. That one could be pretty cool. Now this one's probably got <coughs> a lot of hand motions that I would have to learn. We'll take a look and see if it's uh, easy and cool to figure out a little bit. Alright, well this is this is easy enough. <laughs> kind of. This is pretty cool though. Okay. This could be hard to figure out. Oh. Okay. Let's go here. No, no, no. Yeah. This is interesting. Let's see if we can find another continent. Turn, turn by twisting your hand like this. It's like I'm a, it's like I'm a wizard. <laughs> it's like, okay, now I got the hang of it. That's pretty cool. And then if you want to zoom in, I guess you go down. Oh, yep, you go down like that. That's pretty cool. I'm not in the U.S., so there's not stuff all over. I should try to find the U.S., but I'm sure it's probably far away somewhere. Alright, so that's Google Earth. That's pretty cool. So let's check out a couple more things. This velocity is still loading up. Lots of people had this this game come, and it's been like kind of like one that shows up a lot when I search. I don't even know how to say say it like Kyoto or something. I don't know what the point of this is at all. <coughs> yeah, I don't know what the point of this is at all. Alright, I'm done with that. That was dumb. So basically, so that's about it for now, guys. As you can see, there's in the Air Store here. There's tons of stuff. It works great on Windows 7. Uh, I hear it works great on Mac too. And uh, there's tons of apps, tons of different programs. Not only games, as you saw, the New York Times, Google Earth is really cool. There's simply tons and tons of apps, and I'm sure there's going to be tons and tons more coming out soon. There's lots of games here, uh, but you will find many useful apps too, so it's, it's good for kids and grown-ups. Uh, I still got to play around more and more with it to find out, you know, more cool stuff to do with it. And like I said, now, now the apps aren't fully out there yet. They're still, it's still a new product. So as time goes by and as more and more useful stuff comes out, I'll probably start reviewing more of the good apps that come out. But all in all, this thing's pretty cool. Uh, I tried it on a Vista computer and it wasn't really working great for me. On Windows 7 I was able to try it out more. And, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. It, it's, it's not, like, needed for a computer. I won't use it, like, to work. But there's some cool things I could do. And I think the New York Times thing is pretty cool. I don't always read the newspaper, but I know there's lots of people out there that do read the newspaper every day. So especially for maybe an older person, this would be great for because they could read the paper really simply like this. I mean, this 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 app I really like. I think it's made pretty well, and uh, I think they did good there. So, <clears throat> just wanted to point out that app again because I thought that's cool, especially for the grown-ups. There's apps out there for us too. So, um, overall, give the leaps a four out of five in terms of doing what it's supposed to do. It does it. That's why I'm getting a four. In terms of actually being able to use it for anything productive, uh, I really don't see myself using it for anything all that productive, so that's why I'm taking away a point. But it does what it says it's going to do. It is very accurate. On both my computers, it's been very smooth and fluid. It's not slow. It doesn't, you know, lag or anything. So overall, pretty good product, and I like how it's small and easy to use. It's not tons of cords, just the one cord to plug it in, no extra power or nothing. So I like it. Pretty cool device. 
check it out. It's Elite Motion. See you guys next time.